We're not here to get drunk. Well, we're not here to drink ourselves to death. In this well, piss. Thank you for making that clear. You're welcome. Well, if you're here for Lord Caron of the Legacy Council, that would be me. Uh, we should get paid for waiting. Fine. I'd like to present you the bill <laughs> for the time we just spent cooling our heels. Feel free. The council's oh. bursary enjoys a good laugh. Can you tell us more about the job? Duh. Well, I suppose it's better if you know what you're doing. Yeah. What do you want to know? Uh, about the Legacy Council. We hear this is a mission for the council, but what is it exactly? Dear Moraike, you don't know. I'll try to make it simple. Moraike? But you know, politics. The council includes representatives of the most powerful and influential organizations in the Eastern Kingdoms. It was created to lead a joint effort to explore the Badlands. What are the Badlands? What are the Badlands, really? Simply put, they are a monster-ridden chaotic wasteland that used to be the Elven Empire called Manakalan. It was destroyed about a thousand years ago by the Great Cataclysm. Now, oh yes! only ruins remain, full of forgotten knowledge. Summer resort. And dangers. Dangerous. Danger real represent. What organizations are there? What are the organizations you mentioned? The Council is, uh, how to put it, a non-governmental organization, meaning that state governments are not represented to avoid partisanship. Instead, there are delegates from the Guild of Antiquarians, Ooh. the Tower of Knowledge, the Arcanium, and the Circle of Denantar. And okay. the Church of Einar guarantees fairness, led by Marshal Beric Sunblaze and Oathkeeper Lyra Keen. All right. What are the Eastern Kingdoms? Which countries make up these Eastern Kingdoms? Simple. The Principality of Mazgarth, here, yeah, I agree. in the middle. Grassy. The Snow Alliance lies to the north. The Kingdom of Galavan to the east, and the New Empire to the south. All friendly, more or less. But the peace is fragile. Okay, I, I do agree, Drassi. It's, it's not as good as I had hoped it would be. I think we know enough now. Thank you. We're good. We should go, don't you think? Very well. Come, gather your things. You're late for your swearing in. Hurry up and wait. <laughs> the story of my life. Oh yeah, the kid penguin is right. Um, it it does have a Dragon Age ish feel to the graphics. Just give them teeth. That would be a good start game grinder. It would. <laughs> it looks a bit weird, um, but as I said, like, the demo looked better, like a lot better, I feel. So maybe it's just uh, a matter of time and tweaking. And you gotta say, the, the environments, they really have down. The principalities... Capital is a large city. Right now, you need to find the Legacy Council. Once you've been there, you will have access to the fast travel function. But for now, you have to walk a little. Go north and walk up the stairs to Sunblaze Court. Then take the stairs west to the council. Go north. Thank the lords. Thank the lords. We do have a, a little map. Do I have a map? Ooh. Oh, I like this. Market Street. Up the steps. Maybe they lowered the graphics settings? That could actually be. Yeah, this is a, this is really cool. Oh, look at the detail on that map. Wow. This Interesting. place is magnificent. Exactly. Meet with Karen. That's Mayor K. 
Kidarth. Right Spark. No, I need to meet. I need to meet him. There. There's a, like a blinking thing. I think that's him. Nice gardens. Wait, not that way. Um, something is wrong with with the sound. Get so close to the embassies. Like it's it's just <laughs> screeching sometimes. Look at the size of this council hall. So this is what they spend our taxes on. Look, is that the princess? Could you move your face Wait, cam more to the center, think? please? Apparently so. Yeah. Then who will administer the oath? For the um, side thing over there? Uh, let me just see. Hold on one sec. One sec. Copy. Paste. Thank you, Starker, for the prime sub. Thank you, buddy. Welcome. Welcome to the nightly buddyhood. We can't see the minimap. Oh, okay. Gwathorn, thank you for the follow, buddy. Paste. Pasty. Paste a reference. Paste reference. Wait, what? Copy. Paste. Duplicate. There we go. And then hide that. Then move over here. Yeah, just uh, let me just see. Maybe I can do. Uh, we. If I move up here. Maybe, that's better. Um, as far as I know, they don't have multiplayer plans right now. No. Uh, it's not her role. There's an oath keeper for that, I think. You thought it would be the princess? Put it where the dwarf's head is. <laughs> she doesn't rule the council? Doesn't she lead the council? No. In this chamber, she's just another delegate. Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Karen. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keen. Oath Keeper of the Council, Pipe down. and I will be administering your vows. Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the Council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the Council's reputation. Remember that, always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you, each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this Council, and promise Wait, she said, right. to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I swear. I swear. I swear. Lord Karen will enter your name into the council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait. That's it. <laughs> you were expecting a parade? Were you hoping for a kiss from the princess? No, no, I don't know. It just feels a bit anticlimactic sorry to disappoint so the mission as i'm sure you know the council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the principality and the marches one of them is the former imperial fortress klm it's held by some 50 troops under the command of captain henrik he sends us weekly status reports or rather he used to. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The council wants a first-hand report. Um... We're good to go. Right. I guess that's that. It's on to KLM. The five council factions have representative in care Sylphin. They can sell you equipment, spells, and many other things. The better your relationship uh, with the faction, the more they have to offer, and the lower their prices. However, these factions are in competition with each other, which means you can't please them all. Various subquests will give you opportunities to improve your relations with one faction or another. 
keep an eye on the faction section of the journal. Press the map button to open the location map. When a waypoint has been found, you can use it to fast travel to other places in the location. Oh, that is good. Snow Alliance Embassy. Oh, I like that. But yeah, I agree. Um, Redfire said, um, can't put my finger on it, but I feel a layer of goof not allowing me to take this game seriously. I, I get what you mean. Like, it's something to do with the character's look that's not quite right yet but i'm hoping they will improve on that as i said like the um the demo it seemed like face work detailing um lip syncing was a lot better than what we're seeing here so i'm thinking it's it's the polish part and this is early access as well so we got to remember that Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Drossy. It it does it does look like early access. Yeah. But I'm I'm really liking it so far. I'm really liking it. Any oh level up? You now have enough experience to Oh my goodness, already? Take a long rest to start the level up sequence. So I do. do we do it through that? Hello adventurers. What can I offer you? Oh mouth cool. Cool buddy. Uh your beer tastes bad. Your beer is <laughs> terrible. And that's being polite about it. What? What? I've never had any complaints about the beer before. Maybe your palate is not refined enough. Yeah, 17 people making this. So it, it's a true indie game. Like, only 17 people. This is not... This is their... Uh, Divinity 1, basically. Right? If, if you look at it that way, Larian Studios started out with smaller games and then moved up. Oh, we need a room. to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite. And settle in. A suite? Oh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this is the capital city. Yeah, put it in there, Murth. Put it when you when you stream, put it in the Buddyhood board. Remember to tag yourself as uh, as a Twitch streamer uh, on the Discord so you can you can actually write there. Yeah, yeah, any any time. Oh, you li Drossy lives in the town where Larian got started. Cool. Alright, so what do I do? Okay, I click level up. Okay. Ta-da! Oh, you're welcome, Earth. I'll see if I can make it. I can't promise. I can't promise, but if you, uh, if you put it up there, I'll see it on my phone. At least. You gain seven hit points, you have one additional hit die. Isn't that the same in the end? Cunning action. You can now take a bonus action each of your turns in combat. This action can be used to take the dash, disengage, or hide. Mordrain. Level 2 wizard, 7 hit points. Arcane Traditions grants you a specialization with a certain kind of magic. It's a certain kind of magic. Spell slots 1... Uh, first level spell, two spells to select. Arcane recovery, once per day when you complete a short rest, you can recover a number of expended spell slots. Max, five, fifth level, five, fifth. Up to half your wizard level rounded up, okay. Archetypes provide a specialization when reaching a certain level in the form of clutch, class archetypes. All right, Mordring? Shock, Arcanist, Lawmaster, or Green Mage. Shock. Uh, that means your spells are one level higher. That is cool. Two class spells. 
Featherfall, Fork Cloud. What is Fork Cloud? Becomes heavily obscured. Disadvantage on attack rolls. Attack rolls against creatures have advantage. Creatures in this area cannot see anything. When they say creatures, does that mean that we can see and don't get disadvantage? Hideous laughter is awesome. Uh, prepare spells. Let's get hideous after. Level up. I like this. I think these traditions are custom made for the game. I don't think I've seen them any official source material. Okay. Another seven hit points. I guess it's max. Channel Divinity. <laughs> Speaking of Larian Studios. <laughs> you can use Channel Divinity actions once between rests. Turn Undead, Herald of Pain. Cause pain to enemies within six cells. Enemies failing a wis uh, wisdom save receive 1d8 necrotic damage, are poisoned. Okay. Cool. Peaceful rest while camping reduces the chance of being attacked. That's awesome. Level up on the Kid Penguin. Nine hit points. No, it's a roll. It's a roll. Uh, did you play Divine Divinity? Uh, no. <laughs> Hoverstaken. Why are we collecting cookies and not mazes? It should. It could actually have been mazes. Like, bunch of mazes. Yeah, there's Woodstone in the cookies, and, and from the beginning, when I started streaming, it was it was mostly XCOM 2. And you know, in XCOM 2, um, the loot drop is a golden thing. And my viewers at the time, I think I had four viewers, usually three maybe, started calling them golden cookies. And everyone just screamed every time, screamed in chat, of course, <laughs> every time a golden cookie dropped. And that's that's kind of the story of that. Divine Smite. When you hit a creature with a melee weapon, you can spend one spell slot to deal 2d8 additional radiant damage, plus 1d8 per slot level above first, plus 1d8 when hitting an undead or feet. What the hell? So I'm playing I'm playing Pathfinder Second Edition. My character is a champion, which is the uh, e like equal to the paladin, and this smite is just insane compared to the smite I can get at level six with that character. Jesus, yeah, that's insane. Oh, we get a fighting style, and we get spell casting. Defense or dueling, protection or great weapon. Like I like defense because he's 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 our tank. Yeah, we don't have any other tanks. Prepare spells. Visit Hugo Riga Magic Shop. Divine favor. Gain additional radiant damage for a limited time. 1d4. Bless. Shield of Faith and Heroism? Zero. Temporary. That's... I... Cannot be frightened. Okay, it's not as good as in Pathfinder. Heroism. Shielded by Faith. Cool. And then close. Alright, we go back down. 
Unknown drunk. Let's talk the unknown drunk. Go get killed in the Badlands. Okay. You're a very nice guy. You're unknown. Oh, maybe. Yeah, protection versus evil and good. Huh. Yeah, I should. Uh, who is this? I can't see. So I can see on the map Grim Iron Sh Snot here has a quest. Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. Yeah, I agree, Grassy. Um, that you get to prepare spells or level up at a long rest instead of some are short rest and others are long rest. What do you sell? What do you have to sell? Everything you'll need for going out there into the Badlands. Food, ropes, torches, and of course, armor and weapons. I also have some other stock like remedies and antitoxins. That can come in handy. Ever heard of deep spiders? Are you Gorim? Are you Gorim? That's me, <laughs> the one and only. <laughs> hey Gorim. Can we see your wares? We have no gold, though. Oh, yes, look at this. This is something Baldur's Gate 3 doesn't have. You have the pool. You can pool all the characters' cash into the characters' inventory and then share it out or buy one specific thing. Pool. So it's individual, but it's not because you can you can share it around. So basically, you can pool everything and then share it. That's very useful, indeed. Uh, does this? No, clear. No, no, no. I didn't want to sell it, but um, Artbox said that this should go into his pouch. No, I think I think he just uses it if you have it in your inventory. A dagger? Dual daggers? No, I have my rapier. Okay. I like that. Commoner's clothing. We don't need no stinking commoner's clothing. What is this? A scroll of Revify. That's like the revive scrolls of um, 5e. Or resurrection scrolls. Healing potion, Revify. Can you go? No. Yeah, you gotta oh, you gotta conclude transactions. I like this inventory management a bit better, I gotta say. Than, um, than about this gate. Yeah, it looks like you don't need to. Yeah. Did we get? No. Oh, okay. No, she has like an exclamation mark. Deputies, a word, if you please. So famous. Was that really? her? I love it. You were in there too. Are oh, you a member of the council? I'm Annie Bagmorda, quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We don't have a seat in there, but they all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that compulsory? No, but you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Why is everyone Lord so Karen old? Not tell you? No, he didn't. He pretty much stuck to giving orders. No, he didn't. Oh, right. Anyway, we offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown-ups, you know. <laughs> well, at least, most of us are. Of course you are. Well, good luck. At least she's not another lady or something. Scavengers, huh? I never knew if they were legit or not. I'd rather visit the temple, honestly. The scavengers. Oh, they've seen so much already. The first explorers. 
of the ancient empire. So what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? It's not far, but... Uh... I've had enough talking. Let's go kill some monsters. If there's business to be done, we can't afford not to. I agree. Does a halfling qualify as a grown-up? I was thinking the same thing. Like, was was that a was that an insult aimed at the halfling in the party, or what was what was that all about? I don't know. There she is. Ah, you came. You picked our curiosity. So, what exactly do you have to offer? You don't know. <laughs> like, what? What help do you offer? Do you sell healing do you potions? sell healing potions? No, we don't. There's a shop for that. What help do you what offer? What kind of help do you have to offer to people like us? Simple. Now, people like you typically carry out missions for the council in the marches, even in the badlands. Sometimes far away, like Captain Merrin. Who's Captain Merrin? You really must be new. <laughs> He's one of yours. We are. Senior deputy of the council. Anyway, you trek out to some old ruin in the badlands, kill a bunch of orcs. Well, you're still a bit green. So let's say <laughs> goblins. Ow! You're hurting our feelings. Orcs will hurt much more than your feelings, believe me. And stop interrupting, it's rude. So let's say... <laughs> Find yourself with a whole load of rusty swords, leather armor, shields, too much for you to log back here. Oh, so we're puny as well as green. Thank you so much. So instead, you brave heroes, just clear the place of monsters and draw what? us a nice clean map. Then we take our carts and pick up every piece of junk. We bring it back, we sell it, and we split the profits with you. We move the stuff, you go off to kill more bad things. Everybody wins. For a percentage, of course. What? You could never carry it all anyway. Not in your little backpacks. Ah, the system is not available. Well, thank you. I guess that's that is going us. to Fine. be so good. Feel free to visit us anytime. Or drop into any scavenger camp. Are there others? Anywhere we can settle. By the way, if you find Captain Henrik, tell him we're still interested. In what? In getting our people to care Lem. The outpost is perfect for us. Close to the Badlands, with plenty of space for our camp. Right, we'll tell him if we find him. That would be appreciated. The more you do for us, the more we do for you. Oh, so this uh, business relationship can get better? And I hope it will, friend. I guess we'll see you around then. Sure. Good luck out there. And don't forget, in the Badlands, always keep your eyes open. Like, it, it, it might not be the best, the best graphics, but somehow it's just really appealing to me. The way that they talk and, and you have this interaction. I don't know. I think it, I think it looks good. That's going to be a, really awesome. Um, okay, so there's, okay. I thought there was something with the exclamation mark. I played too much WoW. But it's just uh, someone you can interact with and buy stuff from, maybe. In Salasta, you can craft various items. To do so, you need proper equipment, ingredients, skill, and time. For magical items, sometimes you'll need to know spells. Crafting is performed while traveling, when your party has set up camp, but is not yet sleeping. Okay. Characters can devote some of their free time to work on their current crafting tasks. These are the required tools to craft. Potions, herbalism kit, scroll, scroll kit, poison, poisonous kit, enchanted weapons and armors, mana, mana scalone rosary kit. What the hell is that? All right, our bug, sleep tight, buddy. Sleep tight. Thank you so much for coming. I'm going to figure out why your name wasn't there. We're gonna figure it out. Sorry. Even if you're proficient with a giving crafting tool, you need specific skills to make a successive, successful check against the recipe's DC. To craft potions, sometimes medicine is enough, but arcana is very useful. To craft potions, 
Poisons, medicine or nature. Scrolls and enchanted items. Arcana is a must. Crafting requires ingredients. They can be found while adventuring, gathered from flowers, bushes and rocks, sometimes dead creatures. Obviously, you can also buy them from shops unless they are very rare. Enchanting requires prime items that have been magically, magically prepped or enchanting by Manascalon Mastersmiths, whose secrets have been lost with the cataclysm. Generally, a primed item will require very rare additional ingredient to fulfill its potential. So it's very rare. Okay. Finally, to craft an item, you need to go... You need to know which ingredients to combine. These recipes can be learned from reading manuals or taught by masters. Sol Soliston factions generally keep copies of recipes and sell them at a good price to their friends, but some can be found out there in the Badlands too. Once a recipe has been learned, all the party can use it. To start crafting, open a character screen and click on the crafting tab. Simply select the recipe that is available to start. The progress bar will move forward as you travel and you'll be notified when the operation is over, so you can launch another one if you want. Remember that you, if you cancel a crafting operation, the ingredients are lost. What? Hello, how may I help you? I gotta say, like, that is one thing that BG3 is missing. There's gonna be no crafting in, in that game. I really like crafting. As long as it's not a chore or something that takes up too much time. I like to have my options. Um, can we see your wares? He probably sells... Yeah, component pouch, potion of invisibility... Giant strength, scroll kits, all sorts of... Does he have the mask, mask of baloney, baloney kit? The mask of baloney pit, pit kit? Which is not a kit, but mask of baloney something. A mask, mask, mask... Blugar? Are you sure? It was a little crafting? Oh, I was pretty okay. I'm I'm sorry if that is wrong information. I'm pretty sure I read that there was not going to be any crafting. Huh? Sorry about that. Okay, very simple crafting. Yeah, it's fine as long as there's a bit of crafting. I'm I'm happy. Doesn't have to be this advanced. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to misinform. Um, buy some food for the journey. Visit the local store. Buy at Gorham's Emporium for market at Market Street. Hugo. Try moving here. I don't know where Gorum is. Oh, okay. It's very dark in this in this city, isn't it? Very dark city. Gorum was that lady dwarf. Oh, the lady dwarfy. That's why. That's why. They actually consume your rations when resting in this game. Welcome yeah. Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. Gorim's Emporium, sorry. Oh, you can sort up here. Cool. Ration. Pouch. So everyone eats one ration pouch per long rest. So let's bring... Let's bring at least two for each. So everyone has two. Press completed. Reach the outpost. Here we go. 
I'm liking this so far. Now we need to see some action. Yes. Ooh, this is new as well. Use the arrow keys to explore the map. Click on a destination to plan your travel. Your party will take some time to get there. While en route, adventurers can gather food by foraging or hunting. They can also find crafting ingredients and encounter travelers, remarkable locations or even monsters. A slow pace lets you move cautiously, trying to remain hidden from monsters. A normal pace is faster but riskier. A fast pace is the quickest of all but can be dangerous. Ranges will be very useful while they in their preferred terrain. You'll find more food and are less likely to be surprised by monsters. You can set up travel so you don't need to micromanage your party. Whenever someone can level up, a long rest can be started immediately without finishing the day's travel. When a crafting task is completed, you can set up a new one without losing time. You can open the post-rest window after a long rest, for instance, to modify your prepared spells. Like that. Uh, but I can't, I can't go to the inventory now. Huh. I like this. If I click on KLM, we'll travel at a normal pace. Oh, we actually need a lot of food. Travel setting, interrupt when a character can level up. Hmm. Okay, so if I want to set... You can forage. Oh, of course. But if I want to set the... I can't, I can't enter again. But if I want to set crafting, I need to set it before I go outside. Because I can't access my inventory. Ah! Ah, okay. Okay. You need to click on the icon. Click on the icon to open it up. You can't... I'm hitting I. But I doesn't work here. I think that's a, that's a mistake. C? No. V? No. Do we have any... Um, he could craft something. Crafting he Potion of Healing. How do I do? Ah, oh, crafting. Uh, okay, Herbalism Kit, Arcana plus five. Okay, he can actually craft with that as well. Scroll Kit, but we don't have any anything we can craft right now. Um... <laughs> Angry Violet. Crafting. Wait, do I need to... Because, I mean, he has that. Select one of the crafting options. I don't have any. Uh, just yet. Oh, he only has the scroll kit? It's because I don't have a herbalism kit. Yeah, I, I don't have the herbalism kit, so I can't, I can't do it. Hold on. Hold on. Mix that around, crafting. No. Maybe, maybe I need... I think you need to activate the recipe somehow. Hey, Uberfar, good to see you, buddy. Refined oil. I put that there. 
salt. Quick salt. Bam. Uh, I don't. I I don't understand the crafting right now. Read this manual. Oh! No? How do I read it? Oh, maybe it's not implemented. Could be. Read this. Seems like I can't. I can't. Okay, we we travel. Party set camp. Party passes an ancient tree enough to have survived the cataclysm. Necro started starts heated political discussions about the principality of Maskoth. And we encounter bandits. Jeez, okay. Hold alt. I did. It just said right click. Oh no, it said um, uh, read this. Maybe double click, yeah. I think I tried that, but we'll, we'll try again. We'll try again. We'll figure it out. Oh! Oh, you sneaky. You have been surprised while camping. You must fight off your attackers before you can leave. Having been surprised, you cannot take any actions during the first turn of combat. Don't hold back on spells and powers. You will finish your long rest after the battle, so put all your strength into this fight to survive. Uh, ready? This lets your character wait for a specific condition to be met, so they can interrupt other characters' turns to perform the readied action. In Crown of Magister, you can ready an attack, depending on your character and their equipment and abilities. You can move, use a bonus action, and still use ready action. Mm, okay. Okay, so I couldn't start it at that point. Because we were not at the camp. I see. These guys are uh, closing in quickly. I don't like it. Okay, he. Uh, needs to switch. Um, move and act quickly, take a bonus action. Oh. Stab her. Oh, that was a sneak? Oh, it was a sneak. Sweet. Con in action, we will disengage. Uh, is there flanking? I'm hoping. I'm hoping there's flanking. I'm just gonna bust this guy open. Well struck. <laughs> Seventeen plus five. Twenty-two hit. Makes sense. And we can cast a spell. Healing word. Oh, we do have a heal. Okay. And shield of faith. Nice. And turn. Uh, use power. He can smite. Let's try and smite. Oh, and lay on hands. How much is lay on hands? Um, restore lost hit points. Stabilize. <gasps> Jaffa! Hey, buddy. Thank you for the sub. Jaffa Pug 14. 14 months. Neutralize poison, cure disease. Where is my smite, though? Divine sense. Spell. Bless your wounds. Heroism. 
Hmm. I, I would have... Oh, smite just happens? Are you kidding me? What? Oh yeah, that was what it said. Oh. Toe base subscription plus 14 loyalty. <laughs> Jaffa. You can choose to do it and expend a spell slot instead of using a spell. Ah, masterful. I like it. Wait, that was that was him. And we can cast Shield of Faith, but no, let's not do that. Let's move there. Just tank him. Nope. Nope. Denied. Cast a spell. We'll uh, try the hideous laughter. That is so good. Oh, it doubles on crits, Shaw. Sure. That is so cool. Alright, let's end his turn. Smoit them. Smoit them good. Alright, let's switch to the bow and shoot this guy. Oh, wait till the next one. He's he's sneak attacking everything. I don't I'm I'm Is that because he had advantage? I guess. Uh go there and disadvantage it seems. No. What was that? Let's go there and flank. And then you get advantage. If an enemy is engaged with your ally, you sneak attack. Oh my god. You can also sneak attack if another friend is adjacent to your target. Target was threatened by one of your allies. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, just smite him. Whatever. After a night attack, you can safely go back to sleep and complete your long rest. Unbeatable. Man, that is so cool. Flanking with Paladin. Yeah, relevant alloy. Yeah. Paladin flanks are the best. Yeah. I love this. I love this. Mr. Alicard, good to see you. 